There's a fascinating article making the rounds on the internet recently about how the Instagram generation now experiences the present as an anticipated memory. You know, the success of photo filtering apps on social media has created a generation of individuals who now believe that every present moment needs to be experienced as something that will be reflected upon later. And we take it upon ourselves to design what that later moment is going to feel like. We're living in two realities at the same time. It's what Daniel Kahneman used to refer to as the experiencing self and the remembering self. And they're working in concert. They're saying, be happy for this moment, for this moment is your life. But guess what? This moment is going to be gone like this. And all you're going to have left is that photo filter vintage photograph. All you're going to have left is how you choose to remember this moment. So you're given a pen. You're given a chance to decide how this moment will be remembered. And I think that is fascinating. We all become artists. We all become architects of our mental narratives, of our historical digital paper trail. We decide who we are. We're building maps, and those maps are subjective. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think it's fascinating. I think it liberates our desire to be artists, our desire to be the authors of our own lives and to decide how we remember things, to decide how we deal with the fact that every moment passes, how we deal with that tragedy, how we deal with that entropy, you know? At least we're going to italicize the memory of it. And so yes, the present is lived as anticipated memory because that's all we have is the anticipated memory. The present's gone. It's rich but it's gone. And that, you know, haunts me, but we deal with it.